Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I am back with another travel vlog, and as you can see from the title, this time we took a road trip up the coast of California. In my opinion, for this specific road trip, it had to start with a convertible and a mean playlist. Originally, our first stop was Malibu. We had some things to explore there. However, we ended up having to adjust plans, so our first stop was Ventura and Oxnard. Channel Islands Harbor is the first place that we stopped. And apparently at certain times of year, it's the great place for whale watching. We did not stumble upon any whales. However, we did get to see some sea lions. We did not spend as much time here because the main place we were trying to get to was Santa Barbara. But if you do stay here for longer, there are accommodations, restaurants, shopping, all of that good stuff right here in this little village. Of all the stops we made, Santa Barbara was absolutely the most beautiful. In fact, it moved up to my number one city in California. My pictures and videos of Santa Barbara do not do it justice. It is unreal how scenic it is here. Stearns Wharf is the pier, kind of a hangout in the city where people are fishing recreationally, there's restaurants, ice cream shop. I was here more or less for the views. This is a shot that I took from the pier. It's absolutely gorgeous there. The wharf is a nice place to catch the sunset, but you can also just watch it from the beach like we did. The beaches are nice and open, clean, lots of space. You could grab you a spot, a blanket, towel, whatever, catch a beautiful sunset right on the beach. The county courthouse is one of the most recommended places to visit in Santa Barbara, but before I get to that, right across the street is the public library that is also very beautiful, so I would definitely recommend checking that out as well. Now this big beautiful building here is the county courthouse and you can go inside. However, I was more there to see the gardens. So if you pass this fountain and you go right under that underpass, there you'll find this breathtaking garden and it's a wonderful place to sit and read a book, have a picnic, take some pictures. Just a very beautiful, quiet, serene place to see in Santa Barbara. Chad's Cafe is one of the most recommended breakfast spots in Santa Barbara, so we did go. And I have to say, I was not too impressed. Perhaps I got the wrong thing. I did get country fried steak, which I should have reserved for a southern steak. And I also was not aware that gravy came on it. I do not eat gravy. But you might go and very well enjoy it, so I would still put it on your list as a place to eat. The Santa Barbara Museum of Art was also on our list to do, and we did reserve tickets ahead of time online, which was really simple and easy to do. I'm not exactly sure how big the museum is. We did spend a couple hours here. However, some of the regular collection is closed for a special Vincent Van Gogh exhibition that I actually was not aware was at the museum, so that was a nice surprise to see.
The Santa Barbara Public Market is more or less a food hall. Lots of different cuisines, Mexican, sushi, Italian. So you can take your pick if you are in a group and everybody doesn't want to eat the same thing. This might be an ideal place to stop or if you don't want to make reservations to sit at a restaurant, you could pop by here, grab a bite to eat and then head back into the city to do some more sightseeing and exploring. I mentioned earlier catching the sunset from Stearns Wharf or from the beach, but the harbor is also right near there and that's a great place to catch the sunset as well. We had dinner one night at the Boathouse at Hendry's Beach, which was really good. I'm so sad I did not get a clip of that. But we also ate at this restaurant on Shoreline Drive, which is the main drive. The restaurant's called Toma. It's an Italian restaurant. And I had the lasagna that was impeccable. Really, really good. So I would definitely recommend putting this on your list. And you can make reservations. And if you have a sweet tooth, you can stop by Mission Street for some ice cream or frozen yogurt. We had a little time to kill before we headed to the zoo one day and we stumbled upon this park, East Beach Park, which is maybe two minutes from the zoo. It's right there. And like I said, we were just killing time so we didn't really settle in. But if you wanted to spend a day there, there are picnic tables, volleyball nets, just a really beautiful beach park to hang out at in Santa Barbara. We went to the Santa Barbara Zoo on my actual birthday and I almost was disappointed because it seemed like on this particular day, a lot of the animals just did not want to come out. They were hiding, they were sleeping, or we just couldn't find them in the cage. So we had to circle back around to a lot of the cages, but really quite a beautiful collection. It's actually a smaller zoo, definitely smaller than the zoo here in Richmond where I'm from. Nonetheless, a very beautiful collection of animals here at the zoo. So that's also something to do while in Santa Barbara. One of the best things about road trips is stopping when you see something worth stopping for. And you can stop as many times as you'd like to explore whatever it is that you see. Lake Pachuma is one of those beautiful surprises that we happened upon that we had no idea about. I had not written this place down, hadn't planned to stop there, but we were driving and we saw this beautiful blue water to the side of the road. So we pulled over and you have to drive a bit through a park to get there. But once we got there, we got out and we were just so in awe of this beautiful sight. Nothing like it. I've never seen anything like this in my life and it was just amazing to take in. Pismo Beach is another place that we stopped. We did not stay here, but it is a place that I wanted to see. And for good reason, it is very fantasy-like. I, again, have never seen anything like this place in my life. There is a butterfly cove here where thousands of monarch butterflies gather at a certain time of year. And we were just past that time. We had just missed it. So we saw one little lone butterfly. I would have loved to see the thousands of butterflies, but it's still worth stopping at Pismo Beach just to see the beach. Now this is a place I was saying wrong. I was saying Paso Robles, but apparently it's Paso Robles, so that's a fun fact. But this is like wine country, so there are hundreds of wineries in this area, and we chose Niner for the Heart on the Hill. That's their signature. This is 
I think maybe the heart up there is like it came up because it was one of the most popular ones because of the heart on the hill. Maybe that's why I picked it. So what did she say this was? This was salami, prosciutto, tomatoes. That was Parmesan, brie, aged cheddar, made in-house, shallot jam. Mm. That's interesting. We ended up liking the jam at the when we went to that other. As you can see, we definitely canceled that charcuterie board. It was so good. The bread was also really good. That's a relatively new menu item that I would also recommend. I was mentioning that road trips are all about the stops that you make and all about the sights that you take in. And all along the Pacific Coast Highway, there are all these vista points and lookouts where you can stop and see different things. This one happens to be known for elephant seals and it's a breeding ground so they're all the way down the beach. Okay. Adorable. The names. I was definitely butchering the names, but for my meal, I had a really good burger with their signature sauce. Next up along the highway for us was Big Sur. And Big Sur is one of those places that I truly cannot put into words how beautiful it is. I know I've said beautiful, gorgeous, breathtaking so many times in this vlog because everywhere along the Pacific Coast Highway is just beautiful, but Big Sur especially. So it's one of those places that you just have to see in person. Way Falls is a waterfall that we didn't know anything about, another place that we had not planned to stop, but we happened upon it and it's really quite a charming sight to see. There's a small little parking lot and a short walk to get there, but definitely worth stopping for. We haven't had service for like three hours on our phones, which is kind of good. I feel like it's good for a road trip because you want to focus on being present and catching what you can catch because that's the other thing about road trips we've been being surprised by a lot of things the lake that we saw um yesterday and there were a couple other places that we hadn't planned to stop that we have gotten to see that have been beautiful so that's been awesome about this road trip you may have heard of bixby bridge that is kind of the big site to stop and see in big sur and it is wonderful to see, so I would definitely recommend making that quick little stop there as well. Our last place that we spent time was Monterey, and Carmel by the Sea is actually a city located in Monterey. I wanted to see the fairy tale cottages, which were a little tricky to navigate because people actually live in these homes, and they're not well labeled, they're a little hidden. So you can walk Torres Street and Six and pretty much see a good amount of them. 
The Carmel Mission Basilica Museum was another site that we wanted to see, and it was $10 a person. It's a church, but there's also a garden on the inside. It's really quite a beautiful and serene place to see and to be. Now, Old Monterey Cafe is one of those breakfast spots that we did get right. Shout out to all those people that left reviews online. Everyone was recommending the French toast, and I cannot praise this French toast enough. I am one of those people that rarely finishes all of my food when I eat out at restaurants, and I eat every single thing on this plate. I wish I had evidence, because I'm telling you the truth, this food was so good. If you are someone that walks or runs or rides bikes, then I would definitely recommend this trail. It is a little windy and cold off the water, but really a beautiful trail. We did one of those things that they tell you not to do as kids, but when you're an adult, you can make an executive decision to have ice cream for lunch. We had ice cream at Revival Ice Cream, and I had the signature Bee's Knees ice cream that has local honey, so good. The very last thing we did on our trip before heading back to LA was 17 Mile Drive. If you are familiar with the show Big Little Lies that came on HBO with Reese Witherspoon, that show was filmed here in Monterey, Pebble Beach area, and understandably so because, I mean, look at it. It's gorgeous. There is a small fee to pay to get in, but once you stop and pay that fee, they do hand you a map that shows that there are 17 stops along the drive, so roughly one stop per mile. And there are lots of different things to see. There is wildlife, you're able to see the way the rocks have formed, the way that trees have formed, lots of things to see, so I would definitely set aside time to make all of those stops. And that is a wrap on this vlog. I hope that you have enjoyed watching this video. I will try to link as much information as possible down below. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you in my next video. Bye!